Hello, what's going on you two? What's going on Dynasty? How y'all guys doing today? We are back with another video guys. Um, we're back by popular demand. Uh, a lot of my subscribers have been asking me to do this. And so this will be my first one. But I am officially doing a food review today, guys. And we're doing Red Lobster. Red Lobster. If you're new to the channel, what you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button right now and subscribe to the Dynasty because we're doing big things over here. Uh, Thanksgiving is approaching, guys. It's getting closer and closer. We're officially two days away from Thanksgiving. So I will do, like, a little vlog for you guys. Um, as far as... Excuse me, my nose is itching a little bit. Um, as far as, you know, me prepping, cooking um, my dishes I'll be cooking, letting you guys see the spray that we're having, and just bringing you guys along for the holidays. Why not? Uh, without further ado, guys, I'm hungry, so we're about to get into this video. Um, so first off, the first thing we're going to be trying is, uh, I got a whole half a dozen of Cheddar Bay Biscuits. Well, my entree came with two biscuits, but you know I had to just get a half a dozen. Can't go wrong with that. Look at them, though. They look good. Now, I'm going to go ahead and dig into it now because, mmm. They are as good as I remember. I haven't been to Red Lobster in probably years. I think I've only been like maybe once or twice. So, mm. okay. Cherry Bay Biscuit. Delicious. Mmm. Hands down delicious. One of the best things on the menu. Mmm. So. Make sure I get just right when I order. So what I ordered was the grilled shrimp skewers, the garlic and butter, with um lobster mashed potatoes and crispy Brussels sprouts. I've never had their lobster mashed potatoes. I never had lobster. Period. So this is a be a first for me. I'm going to give them some type of sauce. I guess this is cocktail sauce. I don't know why when this is lemon butter shrimp. I mean, garlic butter shrimp. Um, I'm going to get into it. I guess the first thing I'll try is the shrimp. I mean, why not? But let's just take a look at this gorgeous platter. Let's take a look at that. That looks beautiful. Do that not look beautiful, guys? Oh. So the Brussels sprouts are down here. I love Brussels sprouts, but they got to be cooked the right way. I see they added some rice to it as well, even though I didn't add some rice. These are the garlic shrimp skewers. They look beautiful. Let's just get into it because I'm starving. I don't even know which angle I should get it from. I guess this angle. No, that wasn't the right angle. <laughs> Alright, I think it's supposed to come out this way. Yep. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and shoot, get into it. I wish I had brought more napkins in here with me, but it's okay. So, just took the shell off. We're going to go ahead and try this bad boy. Mm. Looks good. Mm. That's really good. Okay. Oh, God. Also, I'm a big surprise for you guys. 
I'm about to be finishing up getting. Well, not a P.O. box. It's a UPS mailbox. So, if you guys want to send me anything, um, whether it be a letter, uh, if you want to send me a package, uh, if you want to send me, like, items that you guys, like, from your own personal business that you would like me to review on my channel, I have no problem with that. I'm not forcing you to send me anything. You don't have to send me nothing. But you can if you're able to like. Um... I said it was good. Um, until I get that, ad the address is almost up and running. But if you want to send me something now, uh, you can. I'll leave the address that I'm currently using to receive packages. I'll leave that down below in the description if you would like to send me anything. Any sponsors out there, if you want to send me something, address will be down below. And uh, yeah, once I start receiving your items, your letters or whatever, I will open it up on on camera and shout you out. That's some good shrimp. Um, let's go ahead and try this rice that I didn't order. Standard rice, okay. Um, not bad at all. It's just standard rice. Pretty good rice. Uh, let's go ahead and try these Brussels sprouts. Now, I'm very iffy with my Brussels sprouts because they have to be cooked right with butter and all of that. So, and these are crispy Brussels sprouts. So I have no idea what to expect. They look pretty good, nice and charred. Hopefully, they're seasoned correctly. You know, I like them. Let's go ahead and get into that. What it looks like. I mean, why are you not crispy at all? You know, thing is cooked all the way through because it's kind of hard. I mean, it has a char on it. But it's not like buttery like I like it. I'm kind of throwing me off. Um, Michelle, I know you watch my videos. I need your Brussels sprouts ASAP. She makes the best Brussels sprouts that I've tasted hands down. So, these are okay, but I prefer hers. And then, we'll get into the star of the event, the lobster mashed potatoes. I've never had lobster a day in my life, guys. I know you're like, what? I haven't. Um, why per se? I don't know. I just, I don't really care for it. Well, I never really cared to try it. I've got mixed reviews on people. Some people say it's an acquired taste. Some people say, you know, it has to be cooked right. Um, or it'll be too chewy or whatever the case may be. I don't know, so... But this looks good. Oh, it smells pretty good. Oh, bad thing. I should never have tipped that. Okay. Let's put a little bit. It's fine. Just a little bit of the juice, but we can get that up. Not a lot. And I definitely need to get it up before my dog comes here sniffing around. Because he will try to eat that. And I have no idea if anything in here would give him a reaction. So, okay. So. We got that up. Let's go ahead and try these mashed potatoes. And I see the little lobster. I'm going to see if I can get the little lobster in visual for you guys. Look at that lobster right there. I'm kind of scared because I've never had lobster before and I don't know if I'm going to like this. And I really, really hope I do. Alright, let's give it a try. Okay, so, um, I'll tell you this, the lobster, that's not bad, that's why people like lobster, um, the sauce, I don't know what type of sauce they use, it's kind of like on the sweet slash tangy side, um, let me taste it again. It's 
kind of throw me off. I mean, mashed potatoes itself is good. The sauce is kind of throwing me off. Only because I don't, my palate, I think, is kind of off. And I'm not used to eating this type of stuff. So, tasting something different to me has always been a challenge for me. I taste this stuff, new stuff. I've always been against it. Mainly if I smell it. If I smell something and it doesn't smell right, I won't try it. I mean, that's just me. If it smells horrible, it's not going over my lips. Because I can just imagine. If it smells bad, I can just imagine that it's going to taste bad. This per se, it had a little smell that I wasn't too familiar with. But when you get into it, it's not a bad taste. It's, it's the sauce, I think, for me is what's kind of... I don't know what kind of sauce this is. That they got over these potatoes. I mean, don't get me wrong. The lobster is pretty good. My potatoes are not bad at all either. But it's just... um. And it could be my taste buds because my allergies has been bothering me uh, the last uh, few days. Well, last day or so. I had a real bad sinus headache this morning. Took some medicine. I'm fine now. But um, you probably hear it in my voice. I still feel like I'm a little... But other than that, I'm cool. But um, that may be the reason why my taste buds are a little, is a little off. But all in all, it's still good. I mean, it's still pretty good. Okay, so, let's do a full review. Shrimp. <clears throat> awesome. Of course, it's going to be awesome as shrimp. Why well, wouldn't it be? Shrimp is awesome. Get out of 10 out of 10. Rice was standard rice, so it's about a 7. Brussels sprout. Um, probably a two or three. I didn't care for them because they don't really have no flavor on them. I probably have to season them. I'm probably put a little bit of butter, melt the butter on it myself. But, mm. that's all I got that. Mm. Chip was good. Lost the mashed potatoes. Me never having it before. And tasting that, I give it a probably about a six or a seven. Not a bad rating. Um, and of course my biscuits. Of course these are a hundred. Mmm. God, so good. Oh my god. I can eat these biscuits all day. They're so soft. Yeah, so. My entree came with two, and they were rough. Well, they actually gave me an extra one then, because I had nine in here. And I already ordered a half a dozen, and then the two that came with that, so it should have only been eight. But they gave me an extra one. I'll take it any day of the week. That was delicious. Um, oh, no, that's a good meal. I'm going to finish that in just a second, but... I have no idea. I have two different sauces here. I don't know which goes to which. Let me see what these sauces is. I think this is the cocktail sauce. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's cocktail sauce. Oh guys, I also ordered dessert. I ordered um the brownie um madness, I think is what it's called. But I had to put the ice cream in the refrigerator, so what is this? Some type of hot sauce. It smells like peppery. That's like a spicy chili sauce. I don't know if that's for the Brussels sprouts or for me to dip my shrimp in. But that has a little kick, but it's a nice little kick, you know? You know, like, some items are very, like, you know how items are hot and you can't tolerate it. This here, though, it gives you that heat in the back of the throat. 
but it's a good heat. It's not like overwhelming heat. Like it feels real, like it's a little slight burning sensation in the back of your throat, but it's a nice burning sensation. I like that sauce. I might just dip my shrimp in that. But guys, we're going to go ahead and end off now on this review. Total review all together combined as a meal. I give this meal from Red Lobster probably a solid 7, 8. Pretty solid meal. I mean, the biscuits are on point. The biscuits, I think, is what really kept it at 8. If I didn't, if I didn't include the biscuits and just the meal itself, um, it would probably be overall like a six, only because I didn't care for the Brussels sprouts. And then the lobster mashed potatoes were pretty good, but um, because I never had it before, my palate is kind of off. Um, I don't know, could have been maybe could have been a little better. I don't, I don't know, but like I said. All in all, all in all, this meal is delicious. I'm going to go ahead and end this video because I'm hungry and I'm ready to finish this right now. Uh, thank you guys for tuning into my channel. Like I said, follow me on all social media. If you want me to do any more food reviews, uh, hit me in my, <clears throat> in my DM on Instagram. My Instagram name will be listed down below with the rest of my social media. Hit me in my DMs. Let me know what other restaurant you would like me to review. Um... Like I said, and if you sponsors out there, if you like to sponsor me, send me something you want me to review on my channel. I will put a, uh, my, uh, there's an address that I use for, I'm gonna, I'm using right now temporarily for packages. I'll leave it in the description down below. You can use that link if you would like to send me a package. Um, actually, I might be using my UPS, uh, address i'm gonna give them a call today to see if the address is ready um before i upload this video and if it's ready i'll include that address down below you're welcome to send me anything letters packages products that you guys are trying to get out there for you new beginner uh entrepreneurs that's trying to get your merchandise out there you want me to review it on my channel i'll be more than welcome to do that for you i have no problems i'm not trying to force you guys you don't have to send me anything it's totally up to you all right so without further ado, make sure you hit the post notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload more content. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you like this video. Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on this. If you've ever tried any of these items off the Red Lobster menu, leave a comment down below what you thought about the items. And I guess until next video, guys, which will probably be tomorrow, the day before Thanksgiving, I'll probably start my vlog then. So I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, Dynasty.